Hello everyone and welcome back to the TechSec channel. So I received one comment. This is related to the rare files. So last time we did one video related to the extracted the zip files along with the rare files. So when you check here, so I have this rare file. So now what he is asking is, so if I have multiple files, how we can handle those things? So if you know that answer, so just try to comment on that. Uh, anyway, I will export that. Uh, concept as well so now let's go back to this uh, folder and we'll understand so this is the code which uh, i have written here let me open that and you can see this so this is the one code so rar exe file since which is uh, uh, extracting which help to extract the file and after this, this is the my file uh, this is the my source so where i want to extract that source and what is my destination this is a my destination so when you check here, so the three things are available. Once you hit this bad file, so then automatically it will generate the extracted files. So let me hit it. Okay. Now when you check it, it got extracted the rare files. So now the problem is if I have multiple rare files. So when I go here, when I check here, uh, bulk rare files. So I have these many files are there. So how we can extract all one by one? So when I go to your part studio, let me go back to studio. So right now, previous we just targeted for the one uh, thing. So now I want to target for the multiple things. So, so how we can do that? So this is the, with the help of start process, we did everything. So when you go to this start process and we can see this something which you called arguments. So basically we know that arguments was switching, passing the variables to that. Okay. Now how it will pass this variables means. So for example, I will show you let it this code. I will tell you this code as well. So when I say, so I, I pass this techie style. So this is my argument. Let me check where it is there. Okay, this is fine. So when I go and check the unzip copy bat, let me open this as well. So first of all, we need to understand how we can pass it variables. So for example, if you want to pass the variables, basically you want to see that how whether the variables are passing or not. If you want to check that, so we need to write this code echo off. So it is offing that particular things. And these are the variables. So echo means which is nothing but it's uh, showing the display. Okay, percent one, I mean percent two, percent three, these are the variables which I'm passing to from UI path to here. And echo and uh, you can see this here pass null. So until if you click this, uh, press any key, it will, it will be struck. So later uh, it will complete. So now just I will run this one. So when I run, when I hit the enter here, so you can see this here. But so press any key to continue. So when you check here, received parameters are not there. So right now I, I, I run from the directly, directly from the bad file, I not run from the UI path studio. So once I hit enter, it will go on there. Okay, now we'll go back to UI path studio and we'll run from here. First, we need to understand how the variable uh, arguments are passing today. Okay, so let me run this. So just step into, and now we can see this. So what I passed, I passed a single word, so double quotes, which is nothing but a string. So when you check here, one first parameter, which we call techie and second parameter, which we call stack. So how it's performing now? So basically when you give this uh, space, for example, if I give one more thing here, so YouTube hyphen UI path. Okay, now this is considered as a three parameters. So when you give the space, it will consider one parameter. This is one parameter. After that space having another parameter, after this having the another parameters. So now I have the total three parameters are there. So now I will run this uh, automation and we can see the three parameters are there available. Okay, this is the way how we can pass this uh, parameters from here to there. So now just step into here. Okay, now when you check here, so parameter received parameters i have the three parameters are there i will open this parallelly the code as well so let me open this uh, edit okay i will put uh, both side by side and we can see this so every time percentage is one uh, it will take it as a parameter first parameter percentage two it will take it as a second parameter three four five seven and so on so it will take the parameters based on this requirement so now uh, when you check here this is a parameter of the batch file this is example and received parameter so echo is nothing but as a displaying the output here. Okay. And this is a parameter two. This is a parameter three. After this, press any key to continue. So when I click hit here, so it will got 
expand and it i mean it will it will got close okay now you understand how we can pass this parameters from here to here okay now i will go to here and i will open this my original code so this is my original code so let me open so when you check here three things are there so this is the one this is the one this is the one thing but so where you are storing that unwrap dot x and another thing is this is the one so x so just uh, variables and o hyphen o plus which is overwriting the file for example if i have this file there so just it will overwrite that file okay after this I, I will show that as well so let me remove this okay let me save now i am running here unzip that file one second let me run so now uh, it uh, file has extracted so if i hit the a again and you can say this so it is asking so if you want to rewrite the things everything it will ask so to avoid this kind of pop off just go to here again so you can add this plus o plus so just go here hyphen o plus so this is a parameter which helps to override the particular file so now when i run this it will run and uh, it will generate i will delete this one and again i will run so it will generate that file if i run one more time more times more than one times there is no issues with that so that's why we are go using this uh, o plus files okay for that purpose okay this is done and the next here we have this this is the uh, input file i mean nothing but as a source okay from this uh, when i go here i have this source this is my file so i want to extract this rar file after this where i want to store i want to store this is another parameter so basically what you consider so total we have this three parameters are there okay now we'll design this one how we can design means uh, first of all we can make it as percentage one so this is a one parameter after this x hyphen o plus so this is a uh, normal code and after this i have this percentage two this is for the parameter two and this is for the parameter three so this is a small snippet code which we need to develop okay i'm just closing this file and uh, i will take this one okay just i will take and i will go bulk rar files okay and i will rename it as bulk rar files uh, unzip bulk rar files okay so now i will go inside and i will edit that code so just go inside and if you see this already the code has been built it. so percentage one which it take it as a parameter one percentage two which will take it as a parameter two and percentage three which will take it as a parameter three okay you got it it's clear okay now how we can pass the th things so when i go it's notepad so this is my input file i mean this is my general code okay now how i want to convert this means so when you see this here double quotes is having so double quotes i need to just enter like this so if you want to use double quotes uh, when i go to studio let's go back to studio and i will open this parameter so when i use this one it will throw the error so because uh, the double quotes will won't work directly here so for that purpose we need to use cat so cat 32 sorry cat 34 which is uh, helps to save the value as single quote okay after this this is my program so every time this is standard if you want you can change that variable as well so i will go here and i will create the three variables so let me go here okay variable one which i will change as um, this one i will take it as uh, rar file path okay let me check is there any available or okay so i will take this var file path and second one is source and the final one is destination okay destination anyway i am going with this standard so if you want you can change to as per your requirement so every files i want to store here itself or else i will make my, uh, one more new file extracted files so this is my destination i want to store this is standard so i will store here so i will go to this here and i will update this destination so this is my destination so let me update if it's not copied properly let me copy it again okay now this is my destination is done and the source every time my source will be changed so i will just give it as blank nothing and rar file path 
so the my file path is also with the every time it be the standard this this is a my unzip file file so you can make sure that if it is changed to some other basically it will go to program uh, c program files only if it is changed you can change as per your requirement okay now just go to this rar file path and i will change this to this okay now these things are done if you want to loop these files so for what you need to use we need to use this for each activity so under this for each activity we need to write one code directly dot get files of the particular path okay so this is my path so i have done okay let me check whether the i am getting the files names or not so let me run this so if i am getting that files then issue got resolved and we'll try to export that and we can see this uh, the file name it's getting the full name so 13th august this is of my first file so that is august okay fine this is also working fine okay now the next part is what we need to do we need to take this one assign activity and pass it variable to there okay just take assign activity and inside this for each activity i am using that so which variable i need to use this destination so already i have the source is there and uh, another rare file also it's there so just i will copy this and update here okay this is done so just i will remove this and put this process inside okay now i want to change this path first path so copy as the path and change this okay done now here we need to update this query okay so i am going to your uh, this one notepad from here i will write the query so first of all what we need we need to this character 4 okay just take this character 34 okay after this, what we need to we need to double uh, double quotes. It will take already. So our next my file is uh, I need the rare file path. Okay, rare file path plus after that cat thirty four C H R thirty four. So it will give this double quotes. Okay, now one variable which has done plus space. So this is for writing for the second variable. Okay, plus uh, here my second variable is destination. Just update this destination plus so this is my third variable plus so what is my third variable which is called uh, destination second variable is source uh, i will just change this one okay okay this is done so one variable one and this is a variable two and this is a variable three so here one more problem is it so we need to add this uh, chr as well because uh, every time it will store like that chr 34 so it will store in the double quotes plus chr 34 this will also store in the double quotes uh, we need to give plus symbol after this go to here car car 34 okay here plus symbol got missed and finally destination it should be the plus chr 34 so make sure that the car will be only the double quotes not by the space okay this is the final thing which we did okay just save it after this here destination this destination should be the source so because already destination is a standard which i am taking here when i go here and i will check the destination is standard so this is a source source every time will be the change and destination is a standard and this rar file is standard for me if it is changing you can change accordingly so after this so i have done i mean uh, this is as a completed now just go to this properties and you can see these two things are there synchronous and asynchronous so you can just make it as a synchronous thing if it is not working then go there and you can add delay activities here because uh, why because sometimes uh, when you're running this automation it might be get uh, some kind of error so to avoid that just give the delay as a five seconds that's it five seconds is much more enough if it is taking uh, more uh, you can take as it is okay now i will go with this five seconds here on five seconds is enough uh, Zero okay now this is done so we'll try to run this and we can see all the files are exported files should be available here okay just i'm running we'll go step into for one file and after that we will we'll just click on the continue things so we'll check for the first file whether it extracting or not okay it execution has been completed and we can see this 13th may 2022 i will give here breakpoint okay and i'm run this all when i go and check here it should work all so second one has done and we can see this output uh one second 
let me check i will close this now one second let it uh, let it run we'll check later okay execution has done but uh, data we cannot see this one so what is happening we need to observe that refresh when i go it got extracted only 13th july after that it not extracted anything so let me put breakpoint here we'll understand what is going on okay let me check what is the source here Uh, so it's taken as bulk rat file unzip bulk rat file dot bat okay maybe i have not given here proper path i think so okay bulk rat file it's there okay maybe small uh, thing it, it got missing so nothing else okay percentage one this is fine anyway first uh, extracted file has been done okay i will put this file as outside let me go inside and i will take this i will make uh, this as outside for just for uh, understand purpose so let me copy this file path again and i will change this file path okay now this is done and what i will do now so i will just uh, pass this one here in message box just i want to check whether uh, getting this i mean whether i am getting this info or not i will go with log log message If I not copy it properly, this could be the info, and I want to this data to be here. Okay, just uh, for understand purpose, whether I am getting this correct data or not, and I will put one more this for this source. Okay, and uh, right now I am removing this delay. It's not required for me. Uh, for me, it's working fine. If it is any, okay, fine. Okay, now I will run end to end at once uh, till it should complete, and I will check uh, is there it working or not. I will check here. Okay, now it's done. I will go and check. So again, there is no files. So now we'll understand these logs. Okay, this is the rar file. Excited files, custom files, coding. Rar, um, 13th May 2022. After this, it's got this uh, 13th November 2022. Okay, all are uh, all these correct only, but it's not extracting. I have checked the things here. So one mistake which is has done related to the input files. So these are having some issues. So I rectified that input files. And another thing I found that not a major uh, issue. But anyway, uh, I have written the code in another uh, sequence. So this is the things just I have done. So now I will just run this automation and we'll see this one. Okay, we'll, I'm just step into there. And before moving that, I will just show this output. So this is the blank and I will put this minimize. And we can see this, uh, we'll add one by one files here. So when you check here, now it's adding this uh, harvest uh 13th june july august second october november so these files are done here so when i go inside forget about this data so the main thing is um, we want to extract the rar files so this is the one thing may, the first thing what you understand means how you can pass the variables to that uh, particular bad file that is the one thing and what type of variables you are passing so whether it have the two variables or three variables or four variables so if, when you check here, this is the, my output. When you go this bulk rar dot file, so the bulk rar dot file I kept outside because when I loop this all the things, that file also will be available there at the time it won't extract. So that's why I keep this bulk rar file <coughs> outside. So when I open this, the same thing is av available here. Just uh, percentage one, uh, percentage one, percentage two. So the same thing I did here. So this is the way how uh, we can extract uh, the multiple uh, rar files. So based on this, you can go and um, 
work around this so this is the thing so still uh, any doubts uh, try to post uh, your comments on the comment section definitely i will uh, try to help on that if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload